many, how often a deck is used determines their ranking, basically. And, uh, graceful charity, no, do not chain. I guess this is fine. That's fine. Can't use that yet. I can't even use that yet, how annoying. No, 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 don't summon, don't summon, don't summon! Damn it! Of course. Yeah, so long story short, if the tiers go from 1 to 3 with his, with a special 1-0 basically being S rank, and so Zodiacs was one of those, I think. A lot of this was stuff I've had to learn since a, all of it happened while I was disconnected from the series, so... It's definitely one of those things that was interesting to read about after the fact. Of course. This is absolutely dumb. Well, it doesn't matter even if I put Clayman in defense mode because Blade Edge just kills everything I have. Will you stop that? I just wanted to hurry up and surrender this because there's no way I'm winning at this point. Yeah, funny joke, giving me a blade edge. Banisher of the Light, any cards in the graveyards banished instead. Banishing is typically a lot harder to recover from. So it's a pretty good way to remove a card from the field. Unless the deck focuses on that. Yes. Fusion Sage. Cyber Dragon Dry. Brush Recklessly. Dragon 1 face up monster gain 700 for the turn. Reinforcements the army. Let's get uh, Sparkman out here. Actually, is there Stratos? No, Stratos is not here. I guess he'd be a little too good. Sparkman it is. Now let's use Miracle Fusion to get Thunder Giant. There we are. Let's go ahead and use Effect. Destroy that one. And let's use Warrior Returning Alive to get Burst Stenatrix back. There we are. Finally making some headway, but we have to be careful. Every turn he has a chance of drawing a card that's going to absolutely screw us over. There we are. It's usually a good sign while all they're doing is shoving something in defense mode, but... I don't think he has anything with high defense. No, he does not. Alright, I just have to hope he doesn't draw poly- or things he can poly together in the next turn. Then again, I believe most of them only count as Cyber Dragon while on the field. So if there are only...
Let's not take any risks. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. And it's done. Wow, Zane, you're really great. I'm gonna miss ya. And I, uh, you, Jaden. That's why I'm passing you the torch. Once I leave here, you'll be top student. Despite your grades or rank, you'll be the best. Make me proud. Now, this is for the Season 2 stuff. How long have I been streaming for? Know, almost three hours, wow. Doing a lot of these. I guess I could do one more reverse duel. Let's uh, go with Alexis here. Dark gray, entirely gray. Now that's a monster you could tell they just slapped a bunch of stuff together. With those stats you could tell it was definitely a stat of pack filler monster. Wow, this is a really crappy opening hand. Alright, Jaden, let's just see what you have. Oh boy, he gets to open up with a fusion, but the, at least the good news is the only good monster he can have is Thunder Giant. Oh boy. That's probably Fusion Gate in the... Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. Yep, that was Mirror Force. I guess I need to wait for the monsters I can fuse into Cyber Blader, but... The problem is I don't have anything that can I don't think I have anything that can kill Spark now that I think about it. Oh boy, fusion game. Alright, attack that monster. Attack directly. Well, this is gonna be very annoying. I'm pretty sure I literally have no way to kill the Spark Thunder Giant if he summons it, I just realized. On Cyber Later. Alright, we're just gonna attack him directly to let secure our kill. Only the select monster can attack. Oh, I oh dear, I see. Yeah, I should have just attacked with Cyber 2 2. That's my bad. Attack directly. Draining shield. Lovely. I'd say he only has he can only possibly have three of those, but I've played dual links. He can just use pot of duality to put it all back into his deck and then redraw them again. And he's about to get something I don't I'm not going to like. And of course, he Monster Reborns to steal mine. How lovely. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I'm drawing all every single spell card this deck has. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to end on a frustrating note. Let's give it another go. Exa, Enforcer of the Necroz. Now, Necros, I have heard, also, was also a really powerful ritual deck. 
Not too many ritual decks seem to show up, but whenever they do, it's always neat. I always felt they were a bit clunky, but I guess they'd fix that. It makes sense they'd fix that with time. Meteor Rain. During his attack, when your monster's attack, it's hard. Alright, this gives my monsters pierce. Stop that. Set Cyber Gymnast. Fusion Sage, oh boy. If he has Spark Giant, I'm pretty sure I don't actually have anything that can do anything. Yep. Yeah, it's Spark, man. I It's Thunder Giant. I have nothing that can defeat that. To represent the fact that Alexis had absolutely nothing that could destroy Thunder Giant in the anime. Stop that. Doesn't matter. I don't have anything that can beat that monster now. Let's do something else. Well, I do have a decent amount of experience with Amazons. My only problem is I don't think she has any of the really good Amazon cards that were in Duel Links, so... I doubt this is... We're probably gonna get our obliterated again. Oh well. Jaden doesn't get too many fusions out because I really don't have too many ways to deal with that. Pot of Greed. Oh, lovely. Of course he'd open with Pot of Freaking Greed. And Elemental here, Stratos. Sheesh, the dude could summon Electrum right now if it was in his deck. Come on, of course that's Mirror Force. Do we even want to bother? Reaper the cards. Flip what trap card and destroy it if the slip card is set. Sip it, flip it and see. I absolutely do want to go first because Amazons are very much a set back, heavy back row and then pass. See how this one goes. Still feels like it's not really an Amazonist. Oh, come on, stop that. Of course, he opens with Pot of Greed. When would Jaden not open with Pot of Greed? Now, this is absolutely worth activating Fiendish Chain on. This is probably the best trap card I have in my entire deck, so I absolutely want to take full advantage. Mm -hmm. 
Amazon is shamanism. Well, he still can't do much. Why does it feel like Jaden has better traps than the deck that's, you know, dedicated to trap cards? Because I'm pretty sure Mirror Force, Compulsory Activation Device, that's all better. The only good one I seem to have is Fiendish Chain. Everything else is, well... Annoying. She's gonna die immediately, but I can get rid of Avion. The less stuff he has to fuse with, the better, because I know this deck does not have Miracle Fusion yet. He gets that a bit later. Monster Reborn. Oh, lovely. However, I did forget he has three copies of Monster Reborn in his deck. I don't have Baby Tiger, I don't have Princess, I don't have the Amazon's Onslaught. This barely feels like an Amazon deck at all, despite the... Despite so many having the name. Still want to get one last win before I call it a night. Come on. I guess I'm just too used to modern, modern Amazonist support. And once more, he opens with Pot of Freaking Greed in his deck. And I can tell you for right now, Tanya does not have it in her deck. There's no possible way she has it. Is a bit better. Unless it's a clay man, I should be an. Of course it's a clay man. Why wouldn't it be a damn clay man? No, I'm gonna have to spam no, aren't I? Stop bothering me. I'm not going to fiendish chain my own monster. But I do believe, yeah, you can go with it. You can Fiendish Chain your own monster if you want to, for whatever reason. No, stop it. I can't use Dramatic Rescue on that? That's really dumb. Activate Amazonist Village. No. Stop trying to fiend his chain. No one likes it. Stop it. There. Now I can finally start dealing Jaden some proper damage. Fiendish Chain bothers me every turn in Duel Links as well, but things go a bit quicker since Speed Duels don't have a main phase 2. And a lot less monsters to worry about in general. Oh boy, how much you want to bet that's at least one of those is a Mirror Force. Wait, what's this? Cannot be targeting, cannot be destroyed. Ooh, I think we may have found an out. Activate effect. Alright, here we go. 
Stop that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least one of those is a mirror force, so I need to be very careful with this. But if he's going to keep special summoning from his hand, that's just going to be really annoying. Warning, it's main phase one. Warning, it's two seconds of main phase one. We're going to set this. No. Here it comes. Oh, it's not a mirror force. Well, if he's not, then... Uh, he's dead next turn if he doesn't draw into something. No, fiendish chain... It, for annoying as fiendish chain it is... It, chain it, fiendish chain is... It is genuinely a really, really good card, so... Oh my. I might actually want to do this because this disables her effect. Oh boy, that's that might be a mirror force. Now I have to be careful of that. Oh no, that's not mirror force. That's compulsory evacuation device. It's not nearly, it's not as bad at the very least, especially since most Amazons are just one level four. All right, Avion's going to take out the uh, sword, this woman, I imagine. You know what, let's do it, because... 2100 is... Wait, what? Oh, right. Oh, damn it, I forgot. I went back to my hand, not the graveyard. Well, I'm about to lose a lot of damage. Staunch Defender. Oh, wow. Destroying my uh, Amazon Swords Woman triggered that effect. How funny. No, I don't want to activate the M. Alright, battle phase time. No, stop that. Alright, scouts destroy the paladin. Low Piper can do that. No. I can lose her. No. Paladin, finish us. Fin finish this. So finish us. I meant this. There we go, finally. Sheesh. Yeah, if I use an Amazonus deck in this game in the future, I'm definitely going to make check to make sure they have Amazonus Onslaught, because it just doesn't feel like Amazons have much of a coherent game plan before they got that card and the stuff focused around it. And Amazonus Call, of course, that being a very important consistency card. I'm I'm very actually very scared of doing this one because like I said the moment Bastion gets out Water Dragon every single card in Chaz's deck is uh, dead weight since everything is a fire or pyro monster. We're going about three hours now. I guess now is a good time to call it. All right. Well, next time I'll we'll be doing the I believe this arc is the. 
Society of Light arc with that strange cult, so that's going to be neat to re start playing through. I will do a few more reverse matches, and then we'll be seeing everyone next week. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. I saved my VODs, VODs for as long as Twitch allows, so if you ever need them, they'll be there. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.